Is this an unexpected side effect of minimalism? Hey friends, how are you doing? Welcome to Baby Steps Towards Minimalism. And I've just experienced a weird phenomenon. It's, I'm not sure what day it is when you're seeing this sometime in April, but it's Wednesday the 27th of February at the moment as I'm filming this. I'm still in, in Macau, Colowan, hotels behind me, I'm on Haksar Beach. And today was supposed to go differently. Today, I'm sorry, the sea is really loud. I hope you can hear me okay. <laughs> uh, today I was supposed to be going into Kotai, to the Kotai Strip, which is the kind of main bit where all the new, huge, trendy casinos and hotels and stuff are. Um, and in fact, I did that. I went, got the free shuttle bus from the hotel uh, to the Venetian, went and took some B-roll, which you'll see in this video as I'm talking. Um, and then I went to Starbucks to get a coffee and pick up a Starbucks mug, because I've been after one of the Macau ones. And I've seen them in a couple of Starbucks in Hong Kong, but not ones I frequent very often. Uh, so I wanted to get one of those and I managed to, so success. And then the plan was to go for lunch at the Hard Rock Cafe. But it's shut. Despite the fact it's still on the map, it's still on the signs all around the City of Dreams, it's closed. It closed a month ago and it's relocating to Studio City, which is further down the strip. Um, I think it's due to open in about July. So that was a bit of a downer. But here's the thing. Not only was I not able to eat where I wanted to, Macau, and particularly Kotai and the casino malls and the shoppies and all that kind of stuff, is a kind of crazy place. I mean, it's opulent, it's gone mad. And it's beautiful, but it's crazy. And I started to feel really uncomfortable. It was just, whether it was the whole scale of the consumerism, whether it was, no, I just felt a little uneasy because of something I ate at breakfast. I don't know, I just felt really uncomfortable in that environment, surrounded by shops selling ridiculously priced goods that no one really needs, but people want. I just, it just didn't resonate with me at all. I've been this, this, this part of the world you know, five or six times, and I've always loved going through that area. Just uh, the, the sparkle, the glitz, it always appealed to me just in a kind of, you know, I'll never achieve this, but it's always just a, a nice place to hang out. And today that didn't happen. It's the first time since I started on this minimalism journey that I've kind of been in a shopping environment without specifically going to do something. Obviously I went to eat, but beyond that. Um, and it was weird. So I got out of there. I was in Kotai for less than an hour, which considering the amount of B-roll I shot and the fact that I spent 15 minutes in Starbucks, I caught the 11.30 shuttle bus from the hotel and 12.40, I was back on the shuttle bus coming back to the hotel. And I had the vegetarian pasta for lunch and a glass of Sprite, which my waistline will thank me for. Um, but I just felt really odd, I felt such, I think I've got myself so wrapped up in this whole anti-consumerist thing that it just didn't feel like an environment that I could spend any more time in. So it's completely unexpected, but is this a side effect of minimalism? Is this something that if you're further down your journey than I am, you've experienced? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up button, Ignore the thumbs down button, that's only there for trolls and life's a better place without it. But comment, let me know if you've ever experienced this thing where you're feeling uncomfortable. Because it's new to me. Thanks for watching guys. More minimalism videos coming every Tuesday. Um, have a good one and I'll speak to you soon.